drove that thing all the way from Seattle. Man, we had a great trip. We, wow. Uh, we come from Seattle all the way across. It took us three or four days. Right. It's been, been awesome seeing beautiful country. Oh, yeah, definitely worth it, especially this time of year. Oh, yes. Always yes. gorgeous. Yes. And uh, now you uh, have been involved in a lot of different stuff around here locally. You're, uh, you're over in Nashville working on a CD. When is that yeah. due out? Uh, we're hoping to get the, the album out by December, if not sooner, you know, but we're going to shoot and say December right now. Right, and uh, you're thinking about some local marketing. I know you mentioned iTunes. You're yeah, we'll, we'll iTunes. have everything posted up on iTunes and uh, our Facebook. You can look at Jeff Ivey Music and uh, like the page and download, you know, some of my stuff right now that's up there. And cool. uh, we'll uh, also have them available for purchase whenever everything is ready. So Very nice, and you're working on a website, too. From yep, we're sure. working on getting a website built. Don't have all the... Uh, address and all that information built, but uh, if you'll check out the Facebook, I'll have all that posted up there as well. Very cool. All right. And uh, see, so you got your guitar with you here. It's yeah. a nice talk you're uh, playing on. Yeah. Uh, let's. How about an acoustic? Cool. Uh, you said you got some new stuff coming yeah, out. This uh, is how a, about one of those? This is a new one I wrote with a buddy of mine in, in Nashville by the name of Doug Littlejohn, and uh, it's called Worth the Fight. All right. Well, here we go. It's Jeff Ivey on the Homegrown Country Show. Taste of blood came attached to Larry Jackson. Swing it was a right hook, caught me on the mouth. And looking back, I'm proud to say that I stood up to him that day, and I still won't let anyone push me down. I was scared as hell to have to tell my old man that night. What he had to say rings true to the day, son, two wrongs don't make a right. But there's some things that's worth the fight. Reminder that you're alive. You got a wife away your tears. Look up and face your fears. It's worth the sacrifice. To stand up for what you feel is right. You can't let Be a family man when he's stationed in Afghanistan. He does the best he can with a hand he's dealt. Now what he's going through has been rough, and this world today has made him tough. But a letter from his little man will make him melt. What keeps him carrying on is a picture of his kids and wife. A reminder of his loves as he defends our way of life. Cause there's some things that's worth the fight. A reminder that you're alive. Got a wipe away your tears. Look up and face your fears. It's worth the sacrifice. To stand up for what you feel is right.
Bobby, Homegrown Country Show. Thank you so much for that, man. That was awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that was it. Very nice. Now you got some uh, you got some shows coming up here in the not too uh, distant future. Yeah, and uh, October twenty seventh, uh, I'll be at Denton's Trot Line with Brian Mullen. Okay, and, uh, another homegrown artist. Yeah, that's gonna be a good show, I'm sure. And uh, I tell you what, you're gonna like it over there, at Denton's. You played there. I'm, before? I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be my first show there, uh, so I'm excited getting to come back to. to you know, Arkansas, I get to play with a full band for the first time and oh, uh, get to play with a good friend of mine. So, you know, uh, looking really, really looking forward to this one. So you and Brian go back a ways then? Yeah, we, we're both from Sheridan. Right, uh, right. You know, and uh, we we uh, knew each other, you know, back when we were both living in, in, in Sheridan and, and doing our own thing. And right. um, and then we he moved up to Nashville a while back and mm -hmm. uh, then I moved up a couple months later and you know, now we're roommates up there and uh, writing music and uh, playing shows. We do a lot of acoustic stuff in Nashville together for Tootsie's a lot and just wherever else we can get get sure. there in place. So, uh, oh, yeah. so yeah, we we have a lot of fun up there. All right, so October twenty seventh, yes, sir. Benton's Trot Line in Benton, uh, out on the back porch. That'll be a good show, good time of year for it. Be oh, nice yeah. and cool. You get out and have a good time there. And uh, now let me ask you this. This is something uh, it's been kind of top of mind for me a lot here lately and for other people too. You got any uh, any tips? For those, like if you're writing a song, what's a what's a good tip? Just a general advice kind of thing. Uh, only thing I can really say is, you know, uh, just uh, be true to yourself. You know, uh, write, write what you know about. Write what you know about and uh, what you really have feelings for. And uh, yeah, try to expand your your ability on, on writing different stuff. But uh, you know, just uh, try to write what you feel. And um, if you like it, somebody else is probably gonna like it. So Very nice. That's what right. I look well, at it. Hey, that's all right, man. I'll, I'll take that. That's uh, that's four for four now. <laughs> Any artist I've asked, they've said the same thing. Write what you know about. Yeah. So there we go. A little bit of a little bit of advice here on the Homegrown Country Show. Jeff, man, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you so much I for know having you're, me. Uh, you're on the road a lot and playing music a lot, but I'm glad you made it in. Oh, Appreciate yes, sir. you coming. Thank you. Just like that.